Bam! Welcome to it. We're going to talk about battery maintenance and jump charging. Now notice I said jump charging. That doesn't mean jumping and that doesn't mean charging. It's kind of like a blend of both. But remember, the most important thing I'm going to say here is you cannot jump your new Volvo VNL860. There is no more pulling up to Grandma's, Toyota, Tacola, or whatever it is, hooking up the chargers and saying, turn it up, Granny, and then she starts it. Can't do it anymore. You'll blow it up. You'll have a very, very bad day. So what we've done is we've created a solution where you can half do it and be just as successful. Number one, to gain access to your battery system, all you do is you have to open up your side ferry. Number two, you go for the punch out. If your truck won't start and you've got the battery disconnect switch in the on position, which is down right here on the side, what you do, I'm gonna set my glove down so we can see this. What you do is you go over here to this 12 volt battery connect right here. You undo this box. Notice my batteries are covered. That's by design. I hook up my 12 volt charge to right here. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna charge the ultra capacitor on the back side. The ultra capacitor is where your truck gets all of its starting energy from. So the truck runs on a 24 volt system, but it charges this section right here with 12 volt into that system. If I completely disconnected the battery, there's enough energy in there to start this truck four, maybe five, maybe six times. Now, if the truck won't start for some weird reason after you've done that for about 15 minutes, then we need to charge the 24 volt side of this truck. Now that's a unique situation to be in because you need a 24 volt source of power. Opening up the battery compartment here, we have 12, we have six 12 volt batteries tied together to create a 24 volt system. There's a high side and there's a low side. 